Hey guys, TC Survival here. A while ago on another YouTube channel, I posted um, a link to read it on how to pack these. These are uh, your dry bags, they go inside of your tramping pack. I got a lot of people saying, why do I need a dry bag for? Okay, dry bags are essential. I'll show you why. So number one on these dry bags here, these ones that I buy in New Zealand, I have absolutely no idea what it's like in other countries. But here we've got simple like survival tips. Most of you guys watching this video right now won't even need to worry about this. You know all this stuff already. But it does have some phone numbers and websites down the bottom here of people you can contact and uh, like emergency services so that's really useful and you can pick these dry bags up they're about ten dollars okay so if you're like me i like to stay under um flies instead of tents and sometimes um as in, in a heavy rain it's coming in sideways it doesn't protect me fully so i put my sleeping bag in in the dry bag like this you can see it's almost the perfect size it'll keep your sleeping bag nice and dry or at least a lot drier than it would have as if you were just sleeping under the fly. Um, but if you didn't have a sleeping bag for whatever reason, you could just stay in your dry bag like this anyway. Okay, I'll show you guys really quickly how to turn this into a raincoat. Okay, look at this. It's a dry bag raincoat. Uh, you don't have to leave it at waterproofing. These can be really good for a rescue situation. If you just cut a side off, let's see how quickly I can do this. Number one, that is gonna be really, really easy to see from the air. If, if the weather was good, um, I could fly my drone and show you, but trust me, you'll be able to see this for miles. If you put it on the ground and lay beside it, that's going to make it really good for your rescue. But also, having a sheet this wide and this big means that in a survival situation, I could put it over an area like this and actually sleep under it. Uh, and then I've got a waterproof shelter. I'd obviously put... Um, I'd obviously put some wire in each corner to just string it out and I'd angle it so the rain came off. But it's going to make a really good emergency rescue tool. It's going to make a really good emergency shelter, emergency raincoat. And if you don't need it for any of that stuff and you keep it whole and you don't cut any holes in it like I just did, it's going to keep all of your stuff dry in your pack. Even if your pack is completely waterproof, mine is. Um, I still carry a dry bag just because the applications for it are so good. 